Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Okay, so we're going to look at question number eight on the worksheet for simultaneous equations. Okay, so question number eight, we're being asked to work out the length and height of the rectangle. It does look a little bit daunting when we see it like this, but if we recognize that because it's a rectangle, then this and this are equal to each other. It allows us then to create um, effectively a equation. So I can say 5x minus y minus 8 is equal to 3x plus 5y plus 4. And then I'm going to put this in a form that I'm going to find useful to be able to use simultaneous equations with. So if I take 3x away from both sides, I get 2x. And then if I minus 5y from both sides, I get minus 6y. And that equals, add 8 to both sides, that equals 12. OK. Now, all of those um, coefficients are divisible by 2. So therefore, I can write this as x minus 3y equals 6. And that just makes my life a little bit easier. So let's have a look then at the opposite lengths to each other, which is the left hand side and the right hand side. And what I've got with that is 3x plus y minus 4, and that equals 2x minus 6y minus 3. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same exercise, and I should end up with x plus 7y equals 1. And therefore, I've got now my two equations that I can use to work out the value of x and the value of y, because I can write this as x plus 7y equals 1. And then I've got x minus 3y equals 6. Now, if I subtract one from the other, it means I lose the x's. However, I've just got to be a little bit careful because I've got positive 7y minus negative 3y. So that's actually two negatives together are going to make a positive. So that's going to give me 10y equals minus 5. OK, when I work that out, if I divide both sides by 10, I'm going to get minus 5 over 10. So therefore, y equals equals negative 0.5 as a decimal. And that works for this because I can then substitute into one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one I choose. I'm happily, you know, happy to choose any of them, but I'm going to use x plus 7y equals 1. So I've got x plus 7 multiplied by negative 0.5 equals 1. And when I work all of that out, I get x equals 4. And it's really just the case in order to work out the length I just need to substitute the value of x and the value of y into one of the equations. I'm going to choose 5x minus y minus 8. And that's going to give me 5 times 4.5 minus, and again, be very careful, it's a negative 0.5 and then negative 8, and that should give me a length of equal to 15 centimetres. And that's my first answer. And then if I want to work out the width, OK, I'm going to, again, just substitute into one of the equations. I happen to choose 3x plus y equals 4. So therefore, again, I know my value of x and I know my value of y. So I've got 3 times 4.5 plus negative 0.5 equals 4, and that's going to give me a value of 9 centimetres. Therefore, the width is going to be 9 centimetres, and the length is going to be 15 centimetres. And that's the answer to the question. OK, so I hope the video was useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.